Well, after a long day of uh, playing Escape from Tarkov with CJO and Nate. Push him. I'm reloading. I killed him, I killed him, I think. Killed him, holy crap! I killed him, I killed him, I killed him. Holy crap. It feels good to be looking at some red deer again, getting ready to continue our grind and hopefully get this great one to show up. Though the Tarkov was a lot of fun, I've been spending a lot of time on that game the last couple of days, we needed to get back to the grind and try to get this great one to show. We are now at 1,850 kills on the great one grind and have not managed to get him to show up. If you are curious where we've been doing the uh, Tarkov live streams, it's over on my second channel. If you guys have not subscribed to that, be sure to do so as uh, we've been spending a bit of time over there recently playing other games aside from hunting and fishing stuff and it has been quite a bit of fun. In fact, uh, this is probably the most fun I've had playing a non-hunting game in a while. Tarkov has been a blast. I feel like when you go into it not really caring too much about what happens and just trying your best to have fun with your friends, it seems to be the most enjoyable thing possible. But that is going to be our very first diamond of the day, 253.21 out of our first zone. I actually found this guy the previous run and saved it for this video, so that is a uh, nice way to start the day out. And there is our first uh, guaranteed troll rack of the day. We always end up getting a few of these anytime that we go out for a grind. And it's always sad to see them to the point where I don't even use the proper gun on them because I know for a fact they're just not going to make diamond with that rack. So I think the goal of today's video is going to be to try and reach 2,000 kills. We're 1,853 currently, so we're getting quite close to that 2,000 kill mark. And uh, if we... Uh, surpass 2,000 kills then once again we're on a decently long grind and and it's uh kind of looking like it's gonna be that way we have just not really ever had too great of luck with great one red deer we have really good luck with the super rare red deer i think i've had more super rare red deer than any other species but we just don't have good luck with the great one red deer i honestly never get tired of seeing this rack right here i so badly want to get a rare that has this rack but the odds of that happening are so low because that rack not only is one of the more rare ones, but a lot of rares don't get an even rack. I think out of all the rares that we have had, the only ones that have been completely even have been the Melanistics, and Melanistic is one of the rarest fur types you could possibly get on a Red Deer, so the odds of us getting a rare with that rack is so, so low. And man, it's just such a shame because that is an incredible looking rack. Just look at the size of this thing. It is truly a crazy looking Red Deer rack, and I really hope one day we can get a rare like this. I do have a pieball that has one antler looking like this, but it's not even. The other antler looks completely different and it just throws off the whole look. Get a shot on this guy right here and that is going to be another dead mythical red deer. There's that beautiful mythical right there. That is looking really good. This is actually one of those racks that is commonly on the level sevens, but occasionally you get it on the level eights as well. And it looks really good. This is another one I'd love to get a melanistic uh, with this particular rack. It would just look so, so good. Honestly, any rare with this rack and having it be even would be incredible. There we have a level 7 across the way. Let's get a shot at him before the female gets in the way. And there he goes. He has hit the dirt. Another mythical across the way. And another shot to take him down. A really strange and uh, wonky looking mythical. That guy is... Probably the most uneven thing that we have seen all day. That just does not even match in the slightest. And there is one of the smallest stags that we have seen all day, a level five. And that guy's gonna drop on the spot. But it doesn't matter the size of the red deer, all of these are progress towards hopefully, eventually, getting ourselves a great one red deer. Obviously, with us needing to get to 139 more kills to reach 2,000 kills in the grind, and that being our goal for the day, we're not going to be able to show every single kill that I get today in this video or else this would end up being like a 45 minute video. But as always, any interesting stags that we find along the way will of course be shown in the video as well as diamonds and rares and hopefully that great one if he manages to show up sub 2000. Well, there we go. We got ourselves another legendary. That one has a massive estimate. Holy crap. 265 to 311 on the estimate. That is insane. That is a really big level nine. And in fact, that's probably one of the biggest estimates we've seen this entire grind. 
In fact, I don't think we've had many that have scored 265 and above. A lot of it, a lot of them have been around that like 264 mark. We have had a few score like 265, 266, but I don't think we have ever had an estimate that big, at least on the Emerald Coast Red Deer grind. Tiaboro, we definitely did, but it's been a long time since we did those grinds. Let's take a look. What is this guy going to score? I'm going to say 267. Either 266 or 267. And it's 266.73. That's uh, exactly in the middle of the two options that I uh, guessed. So not too bad. I'd say we had a pretty accurate guess there. Oh, there we go. There we go. That is a melanistic. Oh my gosh. We got another melanistic. This one is only a level six, but that is still another rare on the grind. And I think that's our smallest Mela so far, but it's still even. I'm convinced the Melas are always even for the Red Deer. And then the Piebalds and the Albinos are the ones that are weird and wonky because every single Mela that we have had has been an even rack. And that is looking really nice as well. We're at 1,885 kills. So like what, 35 kills after we started today, roughly? That is not bad at all. Let's just go ahead and take a long shot on this guy and see if we can manage to get vitals. That should be a vital hit right there. And yeah, he's going down. That is our third Mela of the grind. This really has been a melanistic kind of grind. We have had more Melas in this grind than I had in the entire time playing this game before. Before this grind started, we only had two melanistics from grinding and that was within 20,870 kills on Tiaboroa and only finding two of them. So the fact that we've got three of them on Emerald Coast within just under 1900 kills is really incredible and that is a beautiful beautiful looking six you know even though even though this guy is kind of small it doesn't even matter because he still looks good Melas i've found have looked good with literally every rack i've seen on them that is awesome it's just been crazy seeing the rare luck that we have had on this grind in fact out of the 1886 kills that we have got we've got nine rares throughout the grind that's averaging out to about 1 in 200, maybe a little bit more, which is above average. The average is 1 in 300. This is really good. Look at that monster right there. 262 to 308 on the estimate. That is absolutely insane. That might be one of the nicer ones that we... Oh my gosh. Yeah, that guy looks wide. That guy looks incredibly wide. I think we might have a giant on our hands. Oh, and there's another nine next to it, but it's the guaranteed troll rack. So that guy's not that important. Let's just do that. Switch over to the 338 and try to get a shot into this guy as well. And down they both go. And one for this guy if we can. Nope, I missed that one. So there we have it. What is probably the biggest stag of the grind. And yeah, that's looking good. I don't know if this is going to be a 270, but he's going to be close. 266.25. I was wrong. I thought this guy looked a little bit bigger, but he's actually just kind of in the middle. 266.25 is still almost four points off of 270. He's definitely not as big as I thought he was, but it is a max weight, so he's still a giant regardless, just a different kind of giant. And here's this uh, sad, sad little troll wreck. 241.17. Ah, man, I am tired of seeing these trolls, I'll tell you that. You know, at this point in the video, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but this is a herd management great one red deer grind. So we are not shooting the smaller animals, which means we're going to end up getting a lot larger animals to spawn more consistently. If you are not familiar with herd management and what it does, it's essentially a grinding method where you leave all of the small males and only shoot the large ones. For red deer, we shoot five and above and leave the fours and below. And it creates a lot more diamond spawns than what you would normally get. This method is 100% backed and supported by Expansive Worlds, the developers of the game. So if you guys want to try it, go for it. It is a lot of fun and it can really spice up your grind and make it interesting. I will likely be doing a herd management red deer guide for Emerald Coast very, very soon. In fact, this video right here originally was intended to be one, but then I decided to just try and hit 2000 kills on the grind instead. So that's going to be postponed a little bit, but it is going to be soon. I do promise that we will get it out at some point within the next week or so. I'd like to at least depends on how things go, obviously, but I'd like to get it out soon as a lot of you have requested a herd management guide for the Red Deer on Emerald Coast. 
and I would like to uh, get out the type of content that you guys want to see, obviously. And with uh, these two kills right here, we are officially past 1,900 total kills in the Emerald Coast Great One Red Deer grind. At this point, I am so tempted to try and do a little bit of late night grinding. I've done it quite often in the past, but whenever I get a great one to show up at like 1 a.m., it's never as exciting as when I get it to happen live or during a video recording because it's just it's just not the same. Everybody in the house is sleeping. My wife and daughter are likely going to get woke up if I scream for a great one that shows up or something. So I can't react in the same way that I normally would. And I feel like that takes away from a lot of the experience of finding it because you guys really enjoy watching me give you all of those genuine and emotion filled reactions whenever we spot our trophies. And I just can't do that when it's in the middle of the night. So as much as I really, really want to grind late night to try and get this kill count up faster and get this great one to show up. I don't know if I'll do it just because of that reason, but we'll see. I might at some point. I, I just want to get this grind done at this point so that we can do another grind because uh, as fun as this has been, I'm sure that some of you want to see a different grind as well. So I'd like to get our first uh, Emerald Coast Red Deer great one so that we can move on to another bear grinding stream or something like that. Oh my gosh, another level nine in this zone. That is crazy. This zone has really been producing today. It has definitely been one of the zones that has gave us the most trophies today. So let's go ahead and take this guy down. This is actually kind of insane how many have spawned in this zone right here. Just today alone. I think that is the small wreck. So that's definitely not as crazy as some of them. However, that is still a level nine. And it should end up being a diamond as well. Let's see, is this guy big rack or small rack? That is small rack. He's got the split brow tines, so this guy will be low in the 250s. Yeah, 254.44, so still a diamond, but not nearly as big as some of the others that we've had. Oh my gosh, this is three runs in a row. This is three runs in a row that we have had a level nine at this zone right here. I just killed one of the red deer from this zone and then reset the time to get the second herd to show up and again, a level nine. This is actually kind of crazy that we've had so many level nines in back to back runs at this lake right here. We are on quite the insane streak of uh, diamonds showing up. This has been a crazy day of grinding. Now this guy's not going to be a super high scoring one, but 254.83 is still a diamond. And that is, uh, once again, another diamond on the grind. This has been a crazy day. We are making some insane progress. I think we've killed like probably 66 or 67 uh, red deer or something like that around that range. And we've already had like four or five diamonds. That is definitely above our average for the grind. In fact, we can take a look at it right here. It has not been long since we shot that last diamond. We have managed to kill a lot of red deer in a pretty short amount of time. We've got a decently efficient grind going here and it has been just producing the trophies like crazy today. Oh my gosh, we've got a piebald now. What is going on? This is absolutely crazy. Again, we've killed less than 70 red deer today and now I've had two rares show up along with like four or five diamonds. This is insane. This is probably the most we have got during one of these videos that wasn't like stuff that we had killed previously that just ended up getting thrown in the video. This is crazy. This is so many trophies so close together. Things are heating up like crazy on the Red Deer grind. The question is, does this mean anything? Are we getting close to our great one finally? Is the map just spitting out trophy after trophy because it's revving up for a great one or something like that? or? Are we just getting a lucky little burst of trophies? In the past, some of these little bursts where you get a lot of trophies popping up have led to great ones in the end. So I'm hoping that'll be the case. I think it's kind of unlikely though, based on my red deer luck. That is beautiful though. I mean, it's another really wonky one, but it is a gold and it's got one of the really cool level seven antlers on it. So that is really nice. You can't really complain about a cool looking rare like this. This has been a crazy day, an absolutely crazy day and another level nine. Holy crap, it just doesn't stop. That thing is incredibly wide as well. That very well may be a 270 or at least close to it. 
I, I think that's our biggest one of the grind easily. The day is just getting better and better and better. It all started with that melanistic and it's just got more insane throughout the day. This is probably the best day of grinding we have had aside from that super rare. Let's go for a shot and... That should be good right there and it is. He's going down. Please let this guy break 270. There he is. That guy's really, really wide. Let's take a look at the antlers. That is indeed Big Rack. It doesn't have the split brows. This could be our 270. It also could just be like a 268 or 269. But is it a 270? It is 270.57. Oh my gosh, we did it. Our first 270 plus of the grind. And we barely saved it with that second shot. Oh my gosh, finally. Finally, we have got ourselves a 270 plus red deer on the same day as a piebald and a mela. This just does not get any better. This is crazy. Our herd management is really popping off like wild today. And of course, this is a day that I'm not doing a live stream and instead I'm doing a video. But at the same time, it's also making it so we can make a phenomenal video out of this. And I hope you guys really do enjoy it. If you do, leave a comment down below and let me know as well as subscribing if you're new. Holy crap, that is crazy. A 270 scoring level 9 red deer. That's insane. Just look at this. This might be the most insane little uh, codex screen I've ever had without like stacking great ones or stacking diamonds and killing them. We've had three diamonds as well as a gold piebald all within 20 kills. This is probably the craziest our grind has been during this almost 2,000 kill grind here on Emerald Coast. Ooh, there we go. That is another level nine. This is actually the longest gap we've had in between nines. It's been about 30 kills if I'm not mistaken. And uh, of course, when one does finally spawn, it is a super weird wonky looking level nine. Uh, we're within 50 kills of getting to 2,000 total kills on the grind, and it is nice to see something else showing up after a pretty big dry streak. Obviously, you guys won't see any of the dry streaks, so you'll just have to take my word on that, but it's been a bit since we got that last diamond. That uh, 270 scoring one, I believe, was the last that we ended up getting, and we have had a decent bit of kills since then. Let's back up a little bit, see if we can get this herd to render in. There they are. We might have to back up even more. Yeah, there we go. There is our shootable stag. Let's just drop that guy real quick and move over to that level nine. And as always, guys, before I forget about it, let me know in the comments if you enjoy these style of grinding videos. This is something that we didn't really do for the longest time. And with the Emerald Coast Red Deer grind, we started trying it out. And so far, it's been pretty successful. You guys seem to really like seeing the ins and outs of a grind and having me talk about what's been going on as well as just hunting around and uh, trying to progress through our grind. It seems like a lot of you really like that. So we've been doing quite a few of them recently. In fact, I don't think we've done a non Red Deer video in a while. So yeah, again, as always, let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy these videos. And if you don't, let me know what else you would like to see. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing as well as leaving a comment down below. This is going to be the end of the video, but I hope you all enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Peace.